Hello everyone, this is Sharif Abu Zaid with a new cook video. And today I want to show you how you can add any type of code snippets inside your WordPress website. But first, let me explain what is meant by a code snippet. Now, a code snippet is some line of codes that you need to install inside your WordPress website. For example, if you want to track the actions of your website visitors, or maybe you need to track the performance of a Facebook ad campaign. Now, one of the common, um, one of oh, two of the most common code snippets that you want to install inside your WordPress website may be Facebook Pixel and Google Analytics. And I highly recommend that you install these uh, two code snippets right away inside your WordPress website if you haven't done so. Now, let me show you how you can do this. But first, let me show you an example of a code snippet. So this is a, my Google Analytics. A snippet and based on the instructions given by Google Analytics, I need to add this inside the header element of my website. So let me show you how I would do this. So all I need to do is to go to plugins and inside the search plugins bar or box, you need to search for fluent snippets. This is a recent um, plugin. I think it was released like maybe a year or less than a year ago. And as you can see, it has been installed in more than 10,000 websites. Once you have it installed and activated, you'll find a new item here. So let's click here. And here you'll find you'll be able to add all your code snippets. Once you click create your first snippet, you need to choose what type of codes you need to install inside your WordPress website. There are different ways here. Functions are PHP. Content are PHP and HTML codes. Styles are for CSS. If you want to add a snippet to maybe to make a specific change to the colors and the layout of your website. And scripts are for JavaScript snippets. Now, to install or to add your Google Analytics code, you need first to copy it from here. And then you need to go to Fluent Snippets and you need to choose Content and HTML. And paste the code here. And let's give this a name. So let's say Google Analytics 4, for example. Okay. I'm here. And then we need to choose where we want to run uh, or where we want to have this code active inside our WordPress website. So usually you'll find instructions given by the code snippet company or the code snippet generator. For example, here in Google Analytics, I have here the instructions. I need to immediately add this after the head element of my website. So I will just go to my snippet and then I will choose site wide header because this is based on the instructions given by Google Analytics. So I click here and then I will just click to create the snippet and then I will click to activate it. So now this snippet is activated. So let me just purge my cache and object cache again. And let's visit the website in Cognito mode. I need to test if the code has been installed inside my WordPress website. So let me just copy, let me open this. Um, maybe I will just copy this um, code, for example. And here I need to search for it. So I click here and I will choose to right click and choose view page source. And I click to find it. And this is it. This is my code. So now my code has been installed inside my WordPress website. And now I can track all the events happening inside this website using Google Analytics. If you haven't noticed, this is why I really like um, Fluent Snippets. Here you will find all the snippets. You will find a list of all of the snippets inside your WordPress website uh, that you have added really organized in different ways. I mean, if you want to know all of your, if you want to see all of your snippets, choose here if you just want to, sh to see the content and HTML, you click here. This is where you'll find your CSS. This is where you'll find your JavaScript snippets. I like this way because it gives me like an organized way of um, viewing all of my snippets. And also the plugin is very lightweight. It doesn't con um, affect, negatively affect your website speed. So this is how easily you can add any type of code snippets inside your WordPress website. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I create amazing videos that help you create 
more effective WordPress websites. Now, thank you so much and see you in the next video.